Hi, 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 hello my dear friends, welcome, welcome to the world of zoology from zoology wala. Now I am going to explain you about the abdomen of cockroach. In previous sessions, I explained the skeletal system of human beings, followed by that I explained the cockroach. And in the last cock, in the class, in the last class regarding the cockroach, I explained the morphology of cockroach till the abdomen. And now I am going to start the abdomen of uh, both male and female cockroaches. My dear friends, previously I explained skeletal system based on the weightage point of view. And now I have taken the cockroach, why because some of my students asked me to take the cockroach. That is why I have taken the cockroach and in the subject point of view as well as in uh, the weightage point of view also, it is very important in the neat examination. Am I clear? Now let me begin the abdomen of cockroach. If you observe female abdomen and uh, the male abdomen of cockroach. In generally, the abdomen of a male will be like this and females are comparatively broader. Females abdomen will be comparatively broader, okay, to have the visibility it will be like this, it will be somewhat broader when compared with a male, okay. So, this just this is just a general point and now if you observe the lateral view of abdomen of female cockroach, it will be like this. This is the seventh segment, eighth, ninth and this is the tenth. So, these are tergal plates, previous in the previous class I explained the tergal plates, is not it? Tergal plates are nothing but the dorsal plates and now this is the ventral plate. If it is female, definitely this will become the seventh one and this is sixth one. This is the lateral view of abdomen, my dear friends, hope so you are able to understand what I am saying. Head is present towards this side, tail is present towards this side. So, the female cockroach is like this, am I clear? So, we are seeing it from the lateral view, side view. So, this is the lateral view. This one is eighth tergal plate and this one is the ninth tergal plate. And seventh tergal plate is clearly visible in case of female cockroach. Eighth and ninth tergal plates are not visible from the dorsal view. Why they are not visible? Why? Because eighth and ninth tergal plates are overlapped by seventh plate and this is the tenth tergal plate and this is seventh sternal plate and this one will become the eighth and this one will become the ninth sternal plate. My dear friends, these are sternal plates. This is ventral side, is not it? So, these are sternal plates. If you want to see the male abdomen and this one will become the seventh one, this one will become the eighth one. Okay, so once again, so this one will become uh, the seventh, seventh one, hey, eh? this is eighth one and this one is nine and this one is ten, okay. And this is the ninth one, eighth one. Let me write seventh tergal plate and this is eighth one, ninth and tenth tergal plate and this is the ninth sternal plate and this is the eighth sternal plate. Am I clear? So, this is obviously the male abdomen, head is present towards that side, tail is present towards this side, okay. So, 7th tergum, 8th tergum, 9th, 10th and you see if you observe the dorsal side of the male cockroach from this view, you are not able to see the 8th tergal plate because it is overlapped by 7th tergal plate and this is 9th sternum. Previously, I told you that how many segments are present in the abdomen means uh, I explained 10 segments are present in the adult cockroach. 10 segments are present in the adult cockroach. But if you observe the ventral side, if you observe the ventral side, only 9 sternal plates are present either in female cockroach or in male cockroach. 10th sternal plate is absent, my dear friends you have to remember, 10th sternal plate is absent, 9 sternal plates are present. So, this is 9th sternum, this is 8th sternum and this is the 7th sternum, 6th sternum, 8th and 9th are tucked inside, 8th and 9th are tucked inside. Am I clear? Let me explain you one important thing. Imagine now this is an area, this is the seventh plate. Seventh plate in case of female, seventh sternum in case of female is boat, boat shape. This is seventh one. Imagine you are sitting in room and now you are watching my class. 
your lateral wall your left lateral wall right lateral wall and the floor will become the seventh plate once again my dear friends you are listening my class i think you are sitting in a room your left wall right wall and floor will become the seventh segment this is the seventh sternum isn't it so this one is the seventh one this is the seventh one and this board will become uh, the eighth plate this is the eighth plate and the roof will become the ninth one this is the ninth the roof will become the ninth so seventh plate anterior one eighth roof is formed by ninth plate and now seven eight nine ninth one so seven eight nine forms a pouch like structure called brood pouch also called genital pouch in case of female cockroach so in case of female cockroach seven eight and ninth sternum forms genital pouch g n i t a l genital pouch in case of female it is also called i think this is female okay this is also called brood pouch hope so i am clear okay and now 789 forms the brood pouch this is the pouch this is the pouch clear if you want to see the genital pouch of course in case of male cockroach the genital pouch is present in the posterior part and the roof ninth one tenth one tergal plates and the floor is formed by ninth sternum so here also genital pouch is present but the word brood pouch you have to restrict the word brood pouch to the female cockroach so if you observe what are the segments which are invisible visible just now i told you let me put it on the board which plate is invisible here eighth and ninth tergal plates tergal plates are invisible from the aerial view or from the dorsal view because they are overlapped by seventh tergum so you may frame one assertion reason question also in case of female cockroach eighth and ninth tergal plates are invisible reason they are overlapped by seventh tergal plate coming here in case of male cockroach eighth tergal plate is invisible why it is invisible from the aerial view it doesn't mean that it won't visible from any direction no it doesn't mean it it is not visible from the aerial view from the dorsal view if you observe the dorsal side of uh, the male cockroach say this is the seventh one and this is the eighth one so seventh one eighth one eighth tergal plate is invisible because the same reason reason what is the reason why it is not invisible from the dorsal view because it is overlapped by seventh tergum because it is overlapped by seventh tergum am i clear so these are the points points i want to convey please see the board just if you want to take one screenshot please take one screenshot please take one screenshot okay am i clear now let me move on to the next portion how many sternal plates are visible how many sternal plates are visible imagine this is uh, the female abdomen and this is male abdomen my dear friends this is very important in the examination point of view so nine in case of female seventh sternal plate seventh sternal plate is boat is boat shaped eighth segment and of course just now i told you that seventh sternal plate forms the floor and uh, lateral walls of the brood pouch eighth segment forms the anterior wall of the brood pouch ninth segment forms the roof of uh, the brood pouch very important in the examination point of view seven eight nine segments forms the brood pouch or genital pouch in case of female cockroach so now seventh sternal plate this is the visible plate so visible plate from the ventral side if you observe the ventral side of the female cockroach which segment will be the last one seventh sternum but in case of the male's abdomen ninth sternum is the last sternal plate which is visible ninth sternum is uh, the visible last uh, 
sternal plate sternal plate itself is nothing but the ventral plate okay see here see here this one is uh, the 7 8 9 in case of female this is the ninth one so visible one is uh, the ninth one the last one is the visible one am i clear now if you observe so many structures are present here let me change the color and now here of course this is the region where anus is present and of course here also anus is present in case of male cockroach and here male genital opening is present i will tell at the time of reproductive system and here there will be a gland called phallic gland which is also called conglobate gland i will explain all this at the time of reproductive system my dear friends don't worry and now in case of female cockroach this is anal opening just i will change color and here there will be a gland and this gland is called collateral gland i will explain at the time of reproductive system followed by sperma tk actually my dear friends i don't want to change the color frequently because you know i think it is a bit time consuming aspect and then here you can see the female genital opening here ovaries are present so female genital open you have to remember the sequence also very important so this is anal opening this is anus let me take white color so that it will be very clear anus and here this is male i think you know the symbol this is male okay so this one is the male this is the male genital opening and this gland is called phallic gland p h a l l i c phallic means penis phallic means penis phallic gland which is also called another name is also there conglobate gland c o n g l o b a t e phallic gland also called conglobate gland and this one is anus dorsally anus and this is collateral gland c o l l a t e r a l sometimes the spelling was given as collateral c o l l a t e r a l but no issue r i a l i will take r i a l collateral gland and this one is sperma thecal opening s p e r sperma theca sperma thecal opening and this is the female genital opening my dear friends you have to remember in sequence also after the reproductive system is over you come to this abdomen again and you study then you will get the clarity you see this sperma thecal opening is present just below the below the collateral gland and the collateral gland opening is present just below the anus and female genital opening is present below this spermatical opening and here phallic gland opening and this is male genital opening present ventral to anus that is dorsal side this will become the ventral side my dear friends my dear friends my dear friends please remember dorsal side upper side is always dorsal side lower side is always ventral side no don't remember like that that is not the correct way of representation ventral side is the stomach side and the opposite side will become the dorsal side in case of cockroach the visible side hey where is my cockroach yeah yes here it is see this is the dorsal side this is the dorsal side and the lower side will become the ventral side this is the ventral side and this one will become the dorsal side this is dorsal side okay these are the wings four wings already explained in a previous session clear so this is the dorsal side this is ventral female genital opening is present present ventral to anus this is dorsal isn't it so this is present ventral to anus and what are the other structures which are seen in a abdomen okay take one screenshot i am going to move to the next page now 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 what are the other structures present in the abdomen of uh, the female gonapophyses g o n a p o p h y s e s plural s i s singular testes t s t e s plural t s t i s singular so gonapophyses how many gonapophyses are present three pairs of gonapophyses are present very important in the examination point of view and here the gonapophyses i will write scs here three gonapophyses are present in case of male cockroach three pairs of gonapophyses are present in uh, female cockroach so this is male cockroach three gonapophyses are present here three pairs of gonapophyses are present and these three pairs of gonapophyses are present in eighth and ninth sternal segments eighth and ninth sternal plates and here three gonapophyses actually present over the ninth sternum more or less ninth sternum three chitinous asymmetrical structures they are made with chitin 
they are asymmetrical A S Y M M E T or I C A L asymmetrical structures, uneven structures. I will show you them at the time of reproductive system in cockroach. Okay. So, now these are very important differences. I am going to add some more points also. Come on, let us take one screenshot. Let me move on to the next slide. In case of uh, female abdomen, female cockroach, female cockroach, cockroaches are also called roaches, is not it? Female cockroach and this is male cockroach, male cockroach. If you observe uh, anal cerci, a n a l c e r c i, anal cerci and here I will write the same word anal cerci. In the previous session itself I told you that anal cerci, some people will pronounce it as anal cerci also, no issue. Anal cerci, 15 segmented jointed structure and here it is also a 15 segmented jointed structure. This one is attached to the 10th tergum, here also same point 10th tergum. Okay. Imagine this is uh, the abdomen and this is the 9th one and this is the 10th tergum. On either side of this 10th tergum here like this like this, anal cerci are present like this, these are anal cerci and I will put the same on the other side also. Imagine this is uh, the abdomen of uh, male cockroach and this one is the 10th one, 10th tergum that is 9th tergum plate and now here 10th tergum shows anal cerci, here also anal cerci, so jointed structure is present. Okay. And now see this one, this is the original cockroach and in this cockroach have you seen the tails, can you see the tail here, in the tail portion, in the tail portion mean posterior end where you can see two tails, see this one, one and this one is two, two structures are present, two structures are present like this, this one, this one, this one segmented structure, this is segmented structure and this segmented structure is called, is called anal cerci, this one is anal cerci. Okay. What about the next one, anal stales, if you observe the ventral side of uh, the abdomen of male cockroach, imagine um, Imagine uh, uh, now this is the ventral view of uh, the male cockroach. Imagine here on this side, okay. On this side, I will represent, I will take another color. What is there? I will take, why because already I have represented anal cerci with one color, so uh, I will represent another color. Okay, anal, which color, let us take a different one. Imagine this is 9 segment and here you can see, oh, it is also representing the same color, say this one. Imagine this is the ninth one, ninth sternal plate, this is the sternal side, S-T-E-R-N-E-L, sternal side. Ninth sternal side shows unjointed structure called anal style and the anal styles are attached to the ninth sternum and here anal styles are absent. I will write the same thing here, anal styles absent in female cockroach and here anal styles are attached to the ninth sternum, what else I have to write everything is here. So, anal style attached to the attached to the ninth sternum. Okay. Diagrammatically if I want to represent here you can see like this diagrammatic representation. So, if you observe the male cockroach and female cockroach by seeing at a glance if you see the male and female cockroaches you can identify which is male and which is female. 
So if it is male cockroach, two pairs of tail like structures are present. If it is female, only one pair of tail like structures are present. Based on that, simply you can differentiate which is male and female. So these additional structures which are representing here, they are nothing but anal stales. They are seen only in the male cockroach. They are not seen in female cockroach. These are the differences of uh, both male's abdomen and female's abdomen of cockroaches. Am I clear? And here I have to represent some structures, gonapophyses. I have represented the word gonapophyses or phallomeres. I will explain at the time of reproductive system. Okay? It is all about the abdomen of uh, uh, cockroach, my dear friends. And now, in the next video, I am going to come in front of you with the digestive system or morphology. Morphology is over. So, I am going to come in front of you with anatomical aspects of uh, the cockroach beginning with digestive system. See you soon, my dear friends. Thank you. Signing off.